ball is spun. The kick is away, and the kick is... It's gone! He did it again. It puts the toe on it, and the kick is gone! What's up, everybody? This is the field goal kicking Eagles. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is the Philadelphia Eagles field goal operation. I'm Jake Elliott. I'm Rick Lovato. I'm Braden Mann. Jake Elliott, 56 yards. Bingo! He is outstanding. We're going to take you through kind of the anatomy and what goes into kicking a field goal today. Everything's got to be just exactly perfect. The speed of the snap from Rick, how quickly Braden gets it down. Like there's so many little details and we have less than 1.3 seconds. First, we're just going to set up a standard extra point, which is a 33-yard field goal now in the middle of the field. So as the beginning of the operation, my job is to throw a perfect ball back to Braden with laces and right over the spot. So it's around two and a half rotations to get back to Braden. He wants to catch the ball right over the spot with laces every single time so he could just put it down. So for me, I treat it as a free throw. My feet are always in the same position. I always have the ball in the same spot every single time. My heel's usually right at the end of the hash. I don't want to be rotated this way and I don't want to be over rotated that way. Always having a straight back, straight arms, and looking through to my target. So my job as the holder is to receive the ball. As you can see, most of the time Rick is pretty much perfect, but it's my job if any weather conditions or anything else come up, if it's a little bit of a low snap, high snap, whatever, get the ball down in the same spot for Jake. If we're outside, beautiful day like today, get down on the ground, get the laces pointed towards the middle of the uprights for Jake, and then the lean is gonna be a little bit forward and a little bit sideways. So if those things go well, then we should have a great kick down the middle. All right, so once we're ready to go, we're gonna pick out a spot that I feel good about, make sure there's no divots around or anything like that. I'm gonna take three steps back, line up exactly where I want that ball to go, find a target behind the upright, take two steps over, one more look back down at Braden, where my spot is exactly, so I find my line, visualize where that ball is gonna go through. One last time, back down, and we're ready to go. Ball is spotted, the kick is away. It's got the distance, and it is good, yes. All right, so now we got a right hash kick from 40 yards. Wind and weather always play a factor, especially in the Northeast here. So the wind's coming left to right here, so we're gonna aim just a, a hair left, probably two, three yards off center in, in hopes that that ball's gonna fade back to the middle. So at this distance, I'm always set up the same as usual, but when there's wind or when there's rain, it's a little bit harder to grab that ball and snap it to Braden. I'm following through with my hands to make sure I'm getting the same exact rotation. So this kick from this hash is a little bit different. We are on the right hash, fighting a wind going left to right. So basically everything we want to think of as a straight kick, except we're just tilting everything to the left now to try and fight that wind to play it back inside. So for us, I tilt the ball a little bit less towards me and more towards Jake. So when I put it on the ground, it's still forward. And then instead of coming over here, that ball is tilted more towards Jake's direction. Uh, that'll help fight the crosswind that we're gonna have. Jake is gonna be aimed a little bit left of center on this one, so that means my ball and my body has to be pointed left to center to make it a straight kick for Jake. I'm changing my target line left to center here, so as you can see, I'm about in the middle of the hash. We're gonna kick off the side of the hash here. The challenges for me are trying to hit a pure ball, because if it's not a pure good ball strike, that wind's gonna take over immediately. Raiden helps a lot with that by how he adjusts the ball. So as you can see there, it kind of started left center of the uprights. Once it passed through, it was a good piercing ball, so it got there fast, and then it started fading over towards the right at the end. So our target line was the right line, we picked a good line, we hit our target, and successful kick. 61 yards! It's gone! He did it again. Now we're all the way back at 60 yards. Um, like we talked about earlier, still fighting a left to right wind and a little bit in the face. So we really got to drive this ball. So what's going to change here is Braden's going to angle it a little bit more forward. I'm going to raise my sweet spot on the ball just a little bit. Try to hit a slower rotating ball that's going to drive through that wind. So like you saw there, we still had a little left to right movement. Braden helped me out a lot with the lean forward. Rick threw a perfect snap back with the laces 12 o'clock. Hit a good driving ball that got there with a little bit to spare. Thanks for watching guys. As you can see, a lot of intricacies that go into a whole field goal operation. Next time your team sets up for a field goal, hopefully you guys can appreciate it just a little bit more.